All right, in today's video, I have a new pair from Adidas. Check out this uh, this box too. It kind of has a cool little uh, face on it. I thought it was a beaver, but it is a groundhog because uh, this pair of sneakers is actually themed after a groundhog. But you can see here, it says we have the Supernova Cushion 7. And this pair was actually by request from uh, myself to Adidas. I was actually asking specifically for this model because I really wanted to see what it looked like in person. I thought the images looked pretty cool. And it was a, kind of a fun, like, throwback retro sort of uh, model. Uh, so big shout out to Adidas for actually sponsoring this video and providing this pair right here. So they have a couple different colorways available on the website. I'll link them in the description for those that are interested. But this is a look at the Supernova uh, Cushion 7. And as I mentioned, this is a groundhog colorway, which I actually really dig. I think this is a dope colorway. I didn't realize that they had... Uh, this uh, colorway that looked like this. Look at that, those little faces on the back. And I like that it has a mismatched uh, back uh, heel section here. It's also mismatched right around the collar here. As you can see, this is like a, a tan versus like a lighter tan uh, or brown, I guess, to do a tan. Check out that outsole too. Very colorful, nice looking uh, outsole right here. But, but I really wanted to try these out and see how they were in person. I gotta say, I really like the look of the shoe overall on feet. I would say that the sizing might be um, a little bit snug, so you might have to go up a half a size that's just my personal thoughts. Uh, this pair was a little bit snug on me at a 9.5. So maybe go up to a size 10 if you guys are a 9.5, if you have a wider foot, and uh, it might be better. If you guys have a difference in opinion, leave a comment in the comment section. But I think that this is a really cool looking model. Now, the Supernova is a running sneaker, at least the current version with Adidas Boost Midsole. So when I saw that this was called the Supernova Cushion 7, it was just a completely different model, honestly. That's one thing I think Adidas should do a little bit better is just the branding. Maybe don't call it a Supernova. I do realize that there is some nods, I guess, from a Heritage shoe, but I couldn't find any records of a Supernova being the original shoe. This is a new model from what it looks like, uh, but it is something that draws inspiration from, obviously, the past. I like the insoles as well. Check it out. They have like a little graphic on the inside of uh, both of them. They're actually both different. One of the things that really drew me to this model, it kind of has a, a retro feel to it with the uh, like a leather lines and then the mesh upper of the shoe. Kind of reminds me of like an early 90s Adidas type of running sneaker. But the other thing I like about it, it sort of reminds me of the Oswegos. However, it's like a lot less chunky. And I kind of like the idea of having a retro style sneaker that's not like a chunky sneaker because Adidas has a tons of chunky ones. Uh, so this is a nice uh, kind of a slimmed down version. So a couple words of what Adidas says about the product. These retail at $120 for those looking and again, link in the description if you're trying to buy a pair of them. Uh, but it's the Supernova Cushion 7. This is a Groundhog's Day version. And it says, old school runners reimagined for the streets. Will we welcome spring early this year? These Adidas Supernova Cushion 7 shoes are ready for whatever the Groundhog tells us. Inspired by an archival runner from the early 2000s, this pair flashes pure aught style from the layered look to the multicolor upper. Added preen cushioning gives them a smooth, comfortable feel, which is great since we know how long it could take for that Groundhog to show up. The theme is really nice. I mean, it's just a clean, simple color, obviously browns and stuff definitely has kind of a fall sort of vibe to it but i like that they have nods to groundhog on it also you can see on the toe box there's a couple different layers of material down here which is nice the suede is actually pretty nice on these as well for 120 dollars shoe but i like the different mixes of panels like right here you have a different panel of mesh and then across the toe box you have mesh and then the underlay down here you have mesh with an overlay for the three stripes on each side as you can see but i like that it's kind of i said 90s but like early 2000s inspired where they're really having fun with the different types of materials of the upper so it's mesh and then it's leather but then they'll also get this like vinyl sort of vibe uh, up through the stripes as well i think that the early 2000s was like a time of really a lot of details to a pair of sneaker that were just not really something that you would have noticed from a distance but up close you could see like around the laces of the shoe and then up through the lace holes and stuff there's added material here and it gives it a nice little accent and look and feel to the shoe uh, obviously where you have different accents it's just more fun to be able to blend different colors it does say supernova cushioning uh, back here and then it does have adipreen and adipreen plus on the uh, midsole of the shoe. So the Addy Preen Plus is the gray section up here. It's a little bit softer. The Addy Preen is actually a little bit firmer than uh, the Addy Preen Plus. And now they have Addy Plus, which is even softer than both of these things. So there's lots of things on the market, but I like the overall look and aesthetic of the midsole as well. It just has some nice curvature to it. And just all around reminds me of like uh, early 2000s or late 90s uh, pair of sneakers. You have some fun little swirls and cuts for the panels on the sides as well as up through the heel counter or the shoe back here. And then as I mentioned, you have two different panels of 
of uh, colors here on the back and then also around the collar of the shoe right here it also does say supernova on the tongue right here and i did like the fact that uh they had two different colored laces so they came with the brown laces originally and then i decided to switch them up with this neon uh, or the green colored laces as well kind of ties the shoe in completely together considering there's parts of mismatches on the upper anyway i figured i'd go ahead and mismatch the laces and i think it looks pretty nice now this colorway to me is absolutely fire i really like this colorway there's other ones that are available on adidas website uh that are pretty decent as well but i think that this one definitely is is kind of a cut above the rest but I believe this one was like ten dollars more as well uh, for the theme I think my favorite detail of these shoes is definitely the outsole of the shoe you can see it has a color variation from like the green to the blue and then the darker blue uh, right here I just like that fade right there one thing I also noticed is there's a little bit of a gap in the heel of the shoe right here and then actually comes back and is a gap on this side as well so how's the overall comfort of these shoes well they're firm it's it's like a firm comfort pair of sneakers it's not like a soft squishy pair of adidas sneakers which I think that there's gonna be some people that actually really prefer this type of comfort I mean it's just a firmer feel it kind of reminds me of like a new balance pair of sneakers to be honest like uh, the absorb technology or whatever it's like firmer but not like uncomfortable it just doesn't have soft, squishy feels like Adidas Boost or anything like that. But uh, but I like to mix it up. I don't like to just do comfort sneakers uh, and soft, squishy sneakers all day long, every single day. I do like to be able to mix it up, and this one is really, really nice for uh, what it offers. Anyways, is the Supernova Comfort 7 on your guys' list or not? Is it something you guys didn't even know about until this video? And if I shed some light on the model for you guys and you guys like it, go ahead and drop a like on the video. And if you guys again want to buy a pair, check the links in the description. Hopefully they'll have more uh, colorways available uh, for you guys soon. But really nice looking model in my opinion. Anyways, thank you guys for stopping by and watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Appreciate y'all for uh, making it happen. And do you guys like this format a little bit better than the talking head version or not? Like sometimes it's nice to be able to be in front of the camera and show my face and do all that stuff. But honestly, you can't see the details of the sneakers as well as you can in something like this. So if you guys like this style, drop a extra like on the video or leave a comment for me and let me know. But have a good rest of the day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and hopefully we'll see you back for some more videos very soon. All right, peace guys.